We know that feet come in all different shapes and sizes, and we know that even just human feet come in all different shapes and sizes. In this video, we're going to see two different patients with two different foot types and the problems that can come from each foot type. They are both normal foot types and they are both common foot types and just normal variations. So not everything that we think is an anomaly actually is. It can just be a very common different type of variation. So sit back, enjoy the video, and thanks for joining us today. What did you do to it? It's been that way the whole time. Do you, and did we look at a brace for it to give you some stability? You just thought when I got different shoes. And we did the orthotics. Are they helping at least? That, that made a difference. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well this just came out of the sterilizer and is super hot, 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 hot. So give me just a second to cool it off. Any new problems? And I'm now that that sore is, you know, with some usually I haven't walked it all day. Get the whole foot gets red yet. Okay. So, well, that sore looks okay. Yeah, I mean it looks okay now. It's getting there though. Yeah. All right. So let's start over here, and we'll get these. These look so much better than they did the first time you came in for these. Mm -hmm. So I heard you were waiting outside in your car for a while before know, you came in. Yeah, huh? I, I guess I was confused on the two times. Uh, no worries. I assume it's, most of the time I assume it's our fault. Mask, can just fall off? Oh. Well, where's Or did you completely just... I had it on. Pretty yeah. sure. I can give you a new one here. Okay. You know, I, I didn't even notice you weren't wearing a mask. <laughs> Maybe I left it in the car. I've had it on for quite a while. You know, we've only been doing this for what, a year now? And <laughs> I, I can't tell you. Yeah. I had my second shot a few weeks ago, so I guess I'm not going to contaminate you. Well, we don't know though. I hope not. You know. But Plus, we, I'm only, there are people that never leave their apartments. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've been doing this for a year, and in the last month, I must have gotten out of my car and started walking into the grocery store oh, yeah. a half dozen times without my mask. It's, it's just funny, isn't it? I'm I'm like, I never can remember those things. Well, I didn't have trouble until recently, so it's like, okay, just relax here. Maybe it's that we were tired of my final. Maybe, yeah. I bet it feels like a relief to have that vaccine done, huh? Yeah, I'm glad. My building is the only one in Hennepin County that never had a COVID, though. Really? Mm -hmm. That's how Not a single are, case, huh? They never emerged from their apartments. Good. Well, I guess, I guess it works. <laughs> I guess it worked. And they all wear masks, and they're all obedient. <laughs> Well, I don't know that obedient is the word. I think wise sounds uh, better. Yeah, uh, I guess so. So did you take up a new hobby during all that time? Or? Mm -mm. I never ran out of stuff to do somehow. Yeah. Yeah, way too much TV to watch, huh? No, I didn't do that. It's like, I don't know what I was doing. I guess maybe the computer, that must be it. Imagine during the Spanish flu, they didn't have the internet. I know. Kidding. What did people do all day? I wonder then, yeah. <laughs> They you know, I was around during the polio one, and I don't even remember anything about it. Really? Yeah. I mean, I was old then. 
Do you know when I first started in practice in the 90s, mm -hmm. I had one patient in a nursing home who was still in an iron lung. <gasps> And they had given her, on several occasions, the option of getting a tracheotomy mm. so she could be in a chair and get out into the world, and she declined. She mm. wanted to, she stayed in that iron lung from the time she was a child. Oh, my goodness. And so her world was her room at the nursing home. For those who have never seen one of these, the person would lay on their back, and the pressure inside the iron lung would lower to expand their lungs and then raise again so they could exhale. It did the inhaling and exhaling for them. And very few people could leave the iron lung uh, for more than a few minutes at a time. But I was grateful because I got to see how that thing worked. Oh, horrible. Um, girl. Well, she evidently didn't think it was so horrible because oh. she didn't want to Stop. All right. Um. Okay. Here we go. I have no idea why that video just ended where it ended. Maybe the battery died or something, I don't know. But to make up for it, I'm adding a short clip now where I'm talking with a gentleman whose second toe is the longest toe on his foot, which I have to be honest with you, I've never seen any studies, but I think it's more the rule than the exception. You know, some people say, that a longer second toe means you're a genius. Some people say a longer second toe means you're creative, but whatever. In my experience, I think I have noticed more people with a longer second toe than not. And what happens is we all buy shoes to fit our big toe and make sure that it's long enough for our big toe. So that second toe is always jamming into the front of the shoe and that can damage the nail and make the nail thick. So if you have a longer second toe and it's got a thick nail on it, chances are it's from trauma and not necessarily from fungus. So back to the video. So we talked about how this nail is thick because look at that, it's, it's way longer than your big toe. So that's been hitting the front of the shoe your whole life. So let's get it thinned out now mm -hmm. and we'll test it for fungus and based on how it feels and what the results come back, that will determine um, what the next step is. Okay? Great. All right. So.
So in that piece, I should be able to take off a lot of the thickness with this. My sense is that this is probably going to come back not fungal, um, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, it's impossible to do that with my new clippers. Right, exactly. You just have to have the right tools and and be able to reach it and see it. So let's go ahead and we'll thin this down. That should feel a ton better, and when we see you back to check on the neuroma, then um, we should have the results of the fungal test back by then. Awesome. Let me just get this one little piece here. It's just some skin. All right. Well, thank you for letting us do the video. Awesome.